<clears throat> Hello, dear viewers from the future. Um, we're just waiting for the students to join. As soon as they join, we will begin the class. So let's wait a few more moments. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, here's the first student. Excellent. Oh, and the second one. Elena and Lena. <laughs> How are you going? Um, very well. <laughs> oh. Okay, nice to meet you. I think this is your first lesson, am I right? That's right. Excellent. Okay, welcome, Lena. And Elena? Hi. Hi. Is this your first lesson too? No, it's my second lesson. Okay. So you had another lesson before? Yes, it was your lesson. Really? Yes. <laughs> you must have changed your background picture because I don't recognize you. Um, no, it's the same. Really? Yeah. Well, I, must, I have a horrible memory. I, I must <laughs> apologize. <laughs> Okay. Lately, I've had so many new students that I don't remember all of your names, so um, please forgive me. It's okay, okay. <laughs> so um, let's welcome Lena. This is her very first lesson. Lena, tell us where you're from. Uh, I am from Smolensk. It's uh, Russian. Oh, nice. Okay. And how did you find out about English Journey? Uh, well, I received uh, um, email from uh, Lingualeo, uh, mm -hmm. and I follow the link and uh, find this very source. And that brought you to my class. Excellent. Very good. All right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Lena? Uh, what do you do? Are you a student? Uh, are you working? Um, um, I'm so. working and I'm a student as well. <laughs> wow. Yes, uh, I'm uh, a manager of projects in uh, a studio. I do websites, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a student of um, a foreign faculty. I learn English and uh, French. So and French. Yeah. Nice. Very good. So, um, do you have any hobbies? What do you do in your spare time? Oh, well, I have um, lots of hobbies, uh, but uh, actually I have uh, no more free time. Uh, and uh, all my free time I spend in learning English, uh, so <laughs> this is my main hobby, I think. Oh, excellent. Is that a cat behind you? Oh, yes, this is my cat. <laughs> oh, isn't she cute? Is it a, a boy or a girl? Yes, it's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, he's lovely. Yes. He looks very, very relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's his name? Uh, his name is Puton. Puton? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cool name. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, that's cool. <clears throat> Thank you for the introduction. So I presume you haven't met Elena. Yeah, so this is the first time you're meeting Elena as well. So Elena, tell us uh, quickly something about yourself as well, please. Um, I'm from Moscow, Russia, so uh, I work in a film production uh, studio. We shoot uh, Russian TV serials. Um, for example, maybe, uh, Alena, uh, you know about one of these, it's uh, Fizruk. Mm, yes, I heard. Oh, what? <laughs> we shoot it. <laughs> oh, nice. So, what else? I like uh, music, um, singing, and uh, reading. Excellent. Very good. And how long have you been studying English, Elena? Well, mm, I have been studying English since uh, mm, 
eight uh, class from school. Oh, it's so very it's long, long uh, time, time ago. Ah, yes. but I'm sure you you weren't um, uh, studying it regularly since then, on and off. Am I right? Mm, yes, you are. I tried to um, improve my um, speaking skills mm -hmm. uh, because uh, in um, our daily life uh, in Russia, for example, we uh, haven't uh, possibility to train our uh, speaking skills. Mm -hmm. in, uh, and uh, when um, I go abroad, um, so uh, first uh, minutes I'm disappointed <laughs> and uh, I don't know how to uh, begin to connect with uh, other people. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I um, decided to try uh, this uh, website or school <laughs> in this journey and I think that it uh, helps me uh, to improve my English. Excellent. Well, I I hope that I can be of benefit to you, uh, both of you, and um, I want to thank you for your introductions. I'll just briefly say something about myself. I know, Elena, you probably heard about uh, mm -hmm. me a little bit already, but uh, Lena hasn't. So I'm... Um, one of the teachers here at English Journey, and I'm Australian. Um, my name is Alan, okay, and um, I focus on speaking, okay, so I was uh, asked by English Journey to focus on the students' speaking <coughs> skills, okay, so I will help you to improve in your conversation, uh, discussion, discussion um, pronunciation, intonation, your vocabulary, I will help you build your vocabulary, yeah, increase it, um, and uh, we do a bit of reading as well. So, um, okay, so I do various um, styles when it comes to the lessons, and I have different levels as well. So I have pre-intermediate, intermediate, and higher, or upper intermediate, close to advanced. And um, so for this lesson. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing, um, basically, it's a, it's a serial or like a story of, of famous things. So each episode we cover famous things. And for this lesson, we're talking about the Titanic. Okay, so what you will hear now is a brief audio, okay, about this um, PDF, which I will share with you. And then we will read the PDF uh, file and also uh, look at some of the vocabulary in there and you know some questions and answers and so on okay so we can discuss that so without further ado I think we can begin are there any questions before we start no no excellent okay so let's have a look I might screen share this straight away maybe not no, I won't. So let me just um, open this for you so you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio now. So if you can maybe just uh, keep your microphone muted at the very top. You can see the microphone button. You can click it to mute so there's no background noise. So they can you can hear the audio perfectly and clearly. Okay. The Titanic. The RMS Titanic began its maiden voyage on April 10th, 1912. It departed from Southampton, England with 2224 people on board. The destination was New York City. Some of the people on board were emigrating. Others were wealthy people on a pleasure cruise. The Titanic was nicknamed the Ship of Dreams. Four days into her journey, at 11.40 p.m., the Titanic hit an iceberg. This happened in the Atlantic Ocean, south of Newfoundland, Canada. Boaters in the area had warned Captain Smith of drifting ice, but he ignored the warnings. Like most of the passengers, 
The captain viewed the ship as unsinkable. When he tried to steer around the iceberg, it was too late. The Titanic began taking on water immediately. Some passengers prepared to escape on lifeboats, but there weren't enough rafts. Due to the women and children first protocol, many families were split up. The evacuation was chaotic and lifeboats were launched half full. Two and a half hours after hitting the iceberg, the ship split apart and sank. The water was freezing and most who fell in died quickly of hypothermia. No ships were close enough to help with the rescue. At 4 a.m. on April 15th, the RMS Carpathia finally arrived. 710 survivors were rescued. The wreck of the Titanic has inspired many books and movies. In 1997, the blockbuster film Titanic was released. Filmmaker James Cameron conducted research by diving down to the actual wreckage. While much of the film is based on truth, the love story between Jack, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Rose, Kate Winslet, is fictional. Cameron's Titanic was the first film to gross $1 billion. In 2012, the film was re-released in 3D for the 100th anniversary of the historic shipwreck. Okay, so that was the audio. So now I will screen share the actual PDF. Here it is. Okay, so here are the vocabulary words. So what I want you to do now is have a look at the words on the left and try to match them to the meanings, the correct meanings on the right. Okay, so number one. Um, okay, Elena, would you like to try the first one? What do you think mm -hmm. the meaning is? Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, D, the first trip. Excellent. So, maiden voyage. Maiden voyage means the first trip. Exactly. Very good. Okay, what about the second one? Lena? Destination, it is um, uh, one moment. Uh, it is uh, the place he planned uh, to go into. Exactly, well done. So it's K, the yes. place you plan on going to. Can you give me a sentence or an example with destination? Um. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Mm. Uh, I'm going to uh, my location, and uh, my destination is um, Italy. Very good. Excellent. That was a nice sentence. Yeah, perfect. Okay, number three. Elena? Uh, number three, emigrate. It is um, age. Uh, to permanently move away from your nation. Very good. So it's H. To permanently move away from your nation. How would you use emigrate in a sentence? Mm -hmm. I emigrated from Kazakhstan in um, 1995. Very good. Excellent. That was well done. Yeah, so to emigrate means to move. To move out of or to move away from. Okay, very good. Number four, Lena. Um, duck, uh, drift, um, mm -hmm. drift, drift, Mm 
What do you think? Is it a noun, an adjective, or a verb? Uh, I think it's a verb. verb. Yes, you're know. right. Mm -hmm. um. Ah, uh, it's uh, to float uh, away slowly on air or water. Am Very I good. Yes, you're right. Yeah, to float away slowly on air or water. So how would you use drift in a sentence? Um, uh, this uh, ship was uh, drift uh, for uh, six hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was drifting. Oh, it, 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 drifting, yeah. Keep it in the continuous um, sense. Very good. So this ship was drifting for six hours. Or maybe... Uh, drifting away, you could say. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, very good. Number five. Iceberg. It is a large mass of ice in the ocean. Excellent. L, a large mass of ice in the ocean. A sentence, please. Mm, just a second. Um... The Titanic uh, was uh, Titanic crashed into iceberg. Yes, the Titanic crashed into an iceberg. Yeah, don't forget the article before iceberg. N. Mm -hmm. Yeah. An iceberg. An iceberg. Very good. All right, number six. Um, protocol. Uh, protocol is. Um I'm not sure, but um, actually it's uh, some kind of paper. Yes, it's a document. Y yeah, good, good, yeah. So, um, maybe it will, it's uh, what is, um, uh, no, no, no. Um, Mm. So it doesn't have to be something physical or like on a document or on a piece of paper. But it could be written on a piece of paper or document. Uh, it's, it could be written what is uh, left after the crash, yes? Mm -hmm. Elena, do you th do you know? Uh, maybe it is a guideline. Yes, that's the one. A guideline. Hmm. Lena, how would you use protocol in a sentence? Can you think of an example? Um. Mm. Uh, after uh, a disaster, uh, the protocol uh, was. Uh, no? Ah, okay, I see what you're saying. So, after this terrible um, disaster, yeah, mm -hmm. a maybe a better protocol was made. Yeah, like, like a guideline, um, you know. I mean, a guideline for safety, for, for example. Yeah, a protocol for safety mm -hmm. procedures. Mm -hmm. Every ship has one, but I think maybe the Titanic could have improved it. So after what happened, you know, um, they decided to improve the protocol of safety, let's say. Mm -hmm. Very good, yes. Okay. okay, number seven. Aortic. Um, it is uh, B, very disorganized. Yes, B. Something chaotic. Hmm. How would you make a sentence with chaotic? Um, the chaotic uh, began when uh, the ship was uh, when the ship uh, was drawing. 
the chaotic began. In that case, um, you would say the chaos, because chaos uh, is the chaos. noun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A chaotic, is that a noun? No, mm. it is an adverb. Yeah, adverb or adjective. Yeah, it can be both. So chaotic would um, describe either an action or a person or a thing. Okay, so how how would you put that together? Maybe think about you know when the Titanic, for example, hit the iceberg. You know the people. You know were, must have been very sh shocked. Yeah. So they uh, ran. Uh, yeah. Uh, they ran in uh, chaotic or uh, destina destinations. Good. Or they ran in a chaotic way or manner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. They were running in a very chaotic manner. Yeah, so basically, they were running everywhere. They didn't know where to run, but they were just running, yeah, for their lives. So they were running in a very chaotic manner. Very good. Okay. Eight. Uh, launch. Uh, it uh, to begin. Am I right? Yes. Very good. So this is launch to launch. launch. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The sentence. <laughs> mm -hmm. What what else do we launch up in the sky? You know, the American um, I... space agency, NASA, or the Russian space um... agency, what do they launch up into space? Rockets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Satellites. Mm -hmm. So how would you put it together? <laughs> do, you, do you want a hand from Elena? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, give, uh, help out. Okay, uh, NASA launches launch, uh, a satellite on the moon. To, to the, the moon. To the moon, excellent. Launched, so in this launched. case, yeah, we're going to use the past tense, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Launched. Very good. So NASA launched. Another satellite to the moon. Uh, Very I good. Met, uh, I met a launch as a, um, a launch of product. Uh, can I use? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. Very good. <laughs> so maybe a, a very popular, um, um, let's say, Apple. Yeah, Apple launched. For example, yes. Exactly, launched their new iPhone a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. They launched the the sale. Yeah, so they started to sell. Mm -hmm. Let's say, very good. All right, next one, number nine. Hypothermia. Um, it is a dangerously low body temperature. Yes. Very good. Hypothermia is a dangerously low body temperature. Now, how would you use this as an example? Um, after uh, the Titanic disaster, mm -hmm. um, many people died because of uh, hypothermia. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Very good example. Okay, number 10. 
Blockbuster is a film uh, that is very successful. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Mm. So it's A. Um, the Titanic by uh, Cameron uh, was uh, uh, Blockbuster. Very good, yes. Nice example, yeah. So it was definitely a blockbuster, yeah, it was. <laughs> the film. Have you watched it? I watched it in a cinema when it came out the first time. Uh, yeah. Did you watch it the first time when it was out? I think it was many years ago. Yes, it was many yeah. years ago. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, what about Eleven? Um, Reckledge. It is... Uh, what is physically left after a disaster? Very good, yes. So a wreckage is that which is physically left after a disaster. Mm. Uh, the sentence? Yes. Mm, a lot of um, wreckage uh, was uh, Drifting on the water after that di the disaster. Wow, that was an awesome sentence. Well done. You've used two of the words. Nice. <laughs> that was really good. Yep. Very well constructed, I have to say. So after the disaster, there was um, the wreckage. Yeah, was drifting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the water. Very good. Okay, and the last one? Mm, uh, uh, the gro uh, gross. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, um, to produce uh, a profit. Yes. Uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> well, how would you use this? Profit. Mm -hmm. So tell me first of all, is this a noun or is it an adjective? It's or a verb. A verb. It's a verb. Yes, it is a verb. Good. Um, okay. I don't know what can <laughs> what could produce a profit. I don't know. Um. Yeah. So it basically, um, um, gross means to profit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to make a profit. So, how would you use this? Mm -hmm. Elena, would you like to give Elena a hand? Mm -hmm. I'll try. Maybe um, we can say that um, Titanic uh, grossed um, very uh, a, hu a huge uh, money um, for uh, James Cameron. Yeah. Uh, maybe a huge amount of money. Amount, yes, of yes, course. Very good, yeah. So um, the Titanic movie grossed, so we're going to have the past tense, ED, a huge amount of money for uh, James Cameron. Is that his name, James? I think that's his first name, yeah. Anyways, for the director. Very good. So it, it gave him profit. It profited him. Yeah, very good. All right, so let's move on. Um, let's maybe skip these, and I'll get you to read now for a little bit. So we have three, four, five. Okay. So, Lena, can you start reading the paragraphs, please? Mm -hmm. Of course I can. <clears throat> good. Uh, the RMS Titanic began its maiden voyage on April 10, 1912. It departed from South uh, Southampton, England, with 
2,224 uh, people on board. The destination was New York City. Some of the people on board were immigrating. Other, others were uh, with the people on a pleasure cruise. The Titanic was uh, nicknamed the Ship of Dreams. Four days into her journey at 11.40 p.m. the Titanic hit an iceberg. This happened in the Atlantic Ocean south of Newfoundland, Canada. Waters in the area had warned Captain Smith of drifting ice, but he ignored the warnings. Like most of the passengers, the captain viewed the ship as an unsinkable. Uh, when he tried to steer around uh, the iceberg, it was too late. Um, the Titanic began taking on water immediately. Some passengers prepared to escape on lifeboats, but uh, there weren't enough rafts. Due to the women and children first protocol, uh, many families were split up. The evacuation was uh, chaotic and the lifeboats were launched uh, half full. Excellent. Very well read. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was very well read. So maybe one word I picked up was at the very start, wealthy people. Wealthy means? Rich. Rich, yeah, very good. Okay, and Lena, can you finish the last two paragraphs, please? Mm -hmm. uh, two and a half hours after hitting the iceberg, uh, the ship uh, split apart and uh, sunk. Uh, the water was uh, freezing, and uh, most who fell uh, in uh, fell in uh, died uh, quickly of uh, uh, hypothermia. Uh, <laughs> no ships were. Uh, I don't see. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. No ships were uh, close enough uh, to help with the uh, uh, with the rescue. At uh, 4 a uh, a.m. Uh, on April uh, 15th, or 15th, um, the AMC um, Carpathia uh, finally arrived. 700 um, uh, survivors were rescued. Mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, week uh, of the Titanic uh, has uh, ins inspired uh, many books and uh, movies. Uh, in uh, uh, 19, uh, uh, 1997, uh, the uh, blockbuster uh, film uh, Titanic was uh, uh, released. Uh, filmmaker James Cameron uh, conducted uh, research uh, by uh, diving down uh, to the actual, uh, actual uh, wreckage. If if the the mm -hmm. if you can't see the uh, the text, maybe click on my video. You see at the very yeah. Click on me. Okay, <laughs> okay. and then. Uh, um. While much of the film uh, is based on uh, John, uh, the love story between uh, Jack, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Leonardo <laughs> and uh, Rose, uh, Ken, Kate Winslet, uh, is fictional. Uh, Cameron Titanic was uh, the first film uh, to gross uh, one billion. Uh, one billion. Two. Uh, in uh, uh, 2012, uh, the film was. Uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, 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 in the 3D of uh, the um, one century uh, university of the historic Excellent. Well read, yeah. So here at the end we say 100th anniversary. Yeah. Okay, well done. Well read. Thank you very much. Uh, see, we have uh, another student. Uh, hello to the new student. Is it? Sorry, I'm not too sure what the name is. Hello, the new student. It is Larissa. Marissa. Larissa. Oh, Larissa, sorry. Larissa, are you there? No. OK. 
Okay. Okay, I will just mute you because there's some background noise coming from Larissa. Larissa, sorry. Um, okay, so now, after we've read that, let's quickly have a look at these five statements on the right. Okay? Um, I want you to tell me if they're true or false or not mentioned at all in the reading. Okay, let's see how well you were paying attention and understanding the text. So, Donna, uh, the first one, Elena. Mm, the Titanic stopped in New York City before heading to England. No, it's false, because uh, Titanic, uh, the, uh, the New York City was the destination of Titanic. Very good. Yeah. yeah, so this statement is false, because New York City was the actual destination, not England. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, very good. Number two, Lena. Uh, some of uh, the passengers uh, aboard the Titanic were planning uh, on uh, moving to the U.S. Um. Hmm? Mm -hmm. um, well, yes, I think. Do you think it's true? Yes, you're right. Yes. That's true, absolutely. Yes, some of the passengers aboard the Titanic were planning on moving to the US. Yeah, so they were emigrating from England. Next, number three. Uh, the Titanic was off the coast of Canada when it hit the iceberg. Mm. I think it's true. You sure? Mm, actually, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Lena? Exactly. Do you agree with her, Lena? Uh, it's false. Oh, you're saying it's false. Hmm. I know Rinat and Larissa joined late, but I don't know if they listened to the actual reading. So it is true, actually. The Titanic was off the coast of Canada when it hit the iceberg. If you remember, I think it was right here, yeah. This happened in the Atlantic Ocean south of Newfoundland, mm -hmm. Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Lena, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the RMC or RMS um, Carpathia uh, didn't have uh, room for all uh, of the survivors. Uh, well, um, uh, there wasn't uh, this information in this step. Very good. Excellent. You're paying attention. Yeah, so this statement was not mentioned at all in the reading. So it doesn't exist in our text. Very good. And the last one, Elena. Captain Smith was a fictional character in James Cameron's film Titanic. Um, I think that's false, but it's also not mentioned here, but uh, the fictional characters were, were uh, Rose and Jack. Very good, yes. So it is false. However, Captain Smith was real, but Jack and Rose were fictional characters in, in the Cameron's movie, Titanic. Very good. Okay, so let's see you now. <clears throat> um, Maybe we'll do these. Okay, let's do these five here. I want you to tell me which words or which word in each line doesn't belong in the group. So there is an odd word in each line. What's the odd word? Rinat, would you like to participate? 
Okay, procedure protocol wreckage guideline. In my opinion, the old world is wreckage. Because procedure protocol or guideline, they are somehow connected with the uh, like instruction or like that. And the wreckage is is it it is accident. Yeah, good, yes. So procedure, protocol and guideline, they all have, you know, something in common. They have mm -hmm. to be followed. A wreckage is something which has got to do with an accident, you know, the, the physical things that are left behind after an accident or whatever. Very good. Can you uh, pronounce the first word again? Procedure? Procedure. Procedure. Yeah. Procedure. Okay, and number two. Larissa, would you like to try? Maybe not. Okay, Elena. Um, mm -hmm. uh, chaos doesn't belong in the, in this group mm -hmm. because uh, cross produce earn are uh, connected with uh, money. Very good. Yes, I like your explanation. Yeah. So chaos is definitely the odd word here. Okay, number three. Water and blockbuster. I think uh, uh, blockbuster uh, is uh, an odd word. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're right. Because? Mm -hmm. um, because it's a film, uh, some, uh, some film, uh, and uh, uh, freezing it's uh, a condition of cold. Uh, um, uh, hypothermia is uh, um, also um, connect, uh, in connection with the uh, um, cold uh, and uh, water is <laughs> um, uh, has some um, Common. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely in common. Yeah, because the water can be because of water, cold water, you can have hy hypothem yes. hypothermia. Yeah, and the water can be freezing. That's freezing water. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, the second last one, Renat. Yeah, startup. Oh. Yeah, startup launch immigrate begin. The old world. Here is immigrate because start up, launch, and begin. They are connected, like starting up something new. So immigrate is a extra word here. It does suit it to this line. Very good. Yes, because emigrate means immigrate means when you are changing your place of living from one country to another. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. And the last one. This organized oh, okay, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> this protocol chaotic uh, mess. Uh, chaotic is oh, I'm sorry. Protocol is uh, an extra word here mm -hmm. because uh, the last three words mean uh, the same. Synonyms. Yes, yes, you're right. Well, not, ne not necessarily synonyms, but chaotic and maybe, yeah, you could say they are. In, in certain contexts, they can be synonyms. Yeah. All right, so that's that, guys. Um, so we've come to the end of this lesson. So what I'm going to do now is give you this uh, PDF so you can uh, download it and save it in your file or on your computer. So uh, just give me a second. Are there any questions, by the way, before I let you go? No. All good? OK. So I'm going to give you the link in just a little second. By the way, uh, 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 u
know, like one hour before and I couldn't do it. Maybe have you started your lesson a little bit later? Yes, we have. Yeah, we start. There was a problem at the very beginning. Um, yeah, it was a mix-up with one of the. And uh, okay. at daytime, uh, I missed your lesson again because I couldn't join. Mm, yeah, there was another problem in the morning as well. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyways, um, hopefully that's been sorted now. So for tomorrow, everything should be back to normal. All right, there is the link. You can download it in the chat. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for joining. Um, Lena, nice to meet you. Hope to see you soon again. And Elena, and nice Elena, to see you. Nice. And, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'll catch, I'll catch, I'll catch you guys I'll catch tomorrow. Guys. Okay. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Okay, bye. bye.